Today I want to find animals which we usually omit, we pass by them without paying attention to them. Wrongly, because without them this forest would look completely different. I think about the beetles. I'm Rafał Bartoszewski. I've lived in a city for all my life, but I always knew that the best and the most important things are outside. That's why I want to take you. closer to the nature. The spring door beetle is a common species and meetings with these animals are not rare when we walk through the forest. Often we don't see them what can be disastrous for them. Forest paths many times are covered by trampled beetles. It isn't surprising because they are two centimeters long and they noiselessly flit through the grass, under the ground or they sit on the things that we most often stay away from, on the feces or carrion. The beetles, like this one, do a really good job in the forest. The smallest organisms usually do the biggest work here. The spring door beetle is easy to mistake with the door beetle, but if we take a closer look at them, we will be able to notice differences in the appearance of both species. The easiest differences to see are grooves on the wing covers, which are shallow and barely seen in our species. It also has a very big pronotum. Although the spring door beetle is dark, we can admire the multitude of its colors for a long time, because its body has a metallic gloss, which colors can smoothly pass one into the other. This is the best scene, of course, in the sunlight. The color of this beetle is dark, almost black, but I took it right here on the sunlight, so that it would be better to see how many colors it can shine in such a light. Its carapace reflects many colors. It can be mostly blue, sometimes green, and that's why it's easiest to see these animals when we see that something shine in the grass, on the path, in the bushes. Like every insect, the beetle has three pairs of legs. From close up, we can see that they have appendages that look like miniature teeth or comb. These are fossorial legs, which are adapted to dig and grab portions of food. There are membranous wings under the wing covers. The animals can fly, but they are not the best aviators, and their flight is quite heavy. However, it's enough for the beetle. Let's be honest, when they walk on the ground, they are still not masters of speed. The menu of these animals is not exquisite. Their food preferences are focused mainly on feces and animal remains, to which they come even from the long distances. Their feeding apparatus isn't adapted to bite off hard foods, so soft meals that can be raked with legs in small portions are perfect for them. The spring door beetles find new food sources, mainly thanks to very efficient chemical receptors, which are placed on the end of their antennae. It's faster than I thought. Look at the antennae of this beetle, these here sticking out of his head. For these animals, they are, let's say, receptors of smell. Thanks for these antennae, beetles can localize, for example, a pile of droppings using chemical compounds which float in the air. So for the beetle, these antennae have the same function like I would have two noses sticking out of my head. The beetles can walk on various elevations or objects that lie on the ground and localize the nearest food source by moving the antennae. They can feel its smell even from a distance of several hundred meters, what is even more impressive if we remember the size of these animals. To the places where beetles gather to find food, gladly come also mice that feed on eggs of flies and microorganisms that they can find there. These tiny animals use beetles as a perfect means of transport, and sometimes they gather in big numbers on particular individuals, but fortunately they do not hurt them. 
pozwolą nam zrobić idealne ujęcia. It lets us make a good footages. It's still in motion less on my hand, but it moves its head in every direction and I can see it nicely in this camera. I hope that it will be well recorded and I hope that something that is sitting on my ear will not go deeper. The spring doorbeetles are good parents, which make sure that their offspring do not lack anything. The diet of larvae is not different than the diet of adult individuals, but the young do not have to look for food. When the female wants to lie the eggs, the pair dig in the ground a corridor to a depth of even several dozen centimeters, which has some side corridors. Then the organic matter, so the droppings, is taken under the ground and it will be the food for larva, because eggs will be laid inside of the corridors. The beetles, which roll big balls of droppings from the place where they have made them to the place where they will bury them, arouse interest for centuries. Young beetles, larvae, which are independent from the beginning, have easy lifestyle and additionally the area is cleared and the soil is fertilized and has a better quality. The other individual just flew next to me. The beetles are not good evaders and they look more like barrels with small wings, but they can move very well from one place to the other to find food. It's flying. Was it visible? No. In the nature, the beetles do the typically dirty work, which is very necessary for the functioning of the ecosystem. It's worth to more appreciate beetles. Let's look under our feet when we walk on the forest path. 